A Tree Grows in Brooklyn is a movie from 1945 and was directed by Elia Kazan. The story is set in Brooklyn in the early 1900s, where we follow the working class Irish American Nolan family. The oldest daughter, Frangie Nolan, played by Peggy Ann Garner, is the main character, and we follow primarily her point of view. In the beginning of the movie, we see her as an ambitious, clever girl who reads books and wants to learn about the world around her. She has a unique and loving relationship with her father, Johnny Nolan, played by James Stone whom she feels knows her better than anyone. But the problem is that Johnny Nolan is an alcoholic, and that has consequences for the family. This movie was the first uh, uh, Elian Kazan ever directed, uh, and you clearly sense that he has a great sense of how to establish the environments and to uh, get the great acting performance from the actors. Although the actors does really an excellent job in their roles, and especially Peggy Ann Garner is outstanding. Uh, in the beginning, she plays the, the character like a young girl who has a, a big imagination, uh, who over the course of the movie de develops into a more mature girl who takes responsibility and is more aware of the darker sides to life and uh, alcoholism. She is truly transformed into her character, and uh, when the movie is over, it feels like she has become that much older. It is truly impressive uh, that such a young actress can make such a strong impression, and you clearly empathize uh, with her character. The movie was based on a semi-autobiographical novel from 1943 written by Betty Smith. I have uh, not read the book, but I know some who, who has, and uh, I have been told that there are some situations that are explored in uh, much greater detail in the book. And that is, of course, uh, natural when someone is adapting a novel into a movie. Uh, a small issue I have with the movie is that I think uh, it has a, the, the beginning is a bit too slow in the first uh, 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, there are lots of characters that are introduced, and that is, of course, uh, necessary since there, that there are lots of uh, characters in the movie. Uh, but I just feel the, the characters didn't move the plot along in the beginning, and that I feel maybe works better in the book. Um, so I wasn't hooked at first, but as soon as the story starts to evolve, then it actually becomes quite engaging and moving. Uh, and it is indeed a movie that has a heartfelt story. Um, Peggy and Garner and uh, James Dunn's chemistry is really strong. And it, it is not very often I have seen a father and daughter relationship being depicted so honest as in this movie. Uh, it feels like they are in a real family together, and it was a pleasure to see them on the screen. I also really enjoyed the relationship between uh, Katie Nolan, played by Dorothy McGuire, and her sister Sissy, played by Joanne Brondel. Brondel. Um, they, they had genuine respect for each other, each other, even though they were very different uh, personalities. All in all, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn is a movie that I would uh, recommend everyone to see. It has a sweet and an emotional story, and all the actors are brilliant. And therefore, I will give this movie 8 stars out of 10. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you have uh, watched the movie and read the book, because I'm really curious to know how well you think the movie is adapted uh, from book to the screen.